Hi guys, this is Fars and welcome to Farzolozi and welcome to another series of Premiere Pro from day one. And yes, I didn't use Premiere Pro before a week. Actually, all my videos are edited on Wondershare Filmora in my channel. And you know, Filmora is just a video editing software for the beginner. It's a lot more easier and have some limitation. So I chose Filmora on that time because I don't have so much time and also i have to run my e study so i chose the filmora then and i also thought that premiere pro is a lot more complex so i decided to go with filmora then but in this lockdown i have decided to learn premiere pro because i have lots of time now and also now i am a little bit interested in videography and i have decided to share my learning process with you also it may be help you as a beginner and may inspire you to use Premiere Pro and I have watched lots of tutorial in my day one and also I have read some blog too so my video is a little bit mixed type video I wanna give you the basic thing the simplest thing that will help you as a beginner I don't want to teach you the rocket science so don't worry I will share just simple basic thing that is must needed for the beginners at first i also thought that premiere pro is a lot more complex and hard to use but believe me it's not actually it seems complex just because we watch tutorial on youtube maybe they discuss a lot of things that are not needed that are not required as a beginner you don't need to know everything you don't need to know all the details of premiere pro as a beginner you are not making movie man so make it simple and i'm also trying to keep it simple and straightforward so let's get started learn with me day one if you open premiere pro you will find a dialog box like this here you find a list of recent projects and then in the left you will find some options of new project open project and others and i want to create a new project so click on this and then you will find another dialog box and here you will find the info of your projects you can give a name here just like this i am giving day one and then you can set the location of your project file and then the renderer option this is important if you click on this little arrow look in my case there are three options but maybe you have one or two it actually depends on your graphics card this is a built-in normal graphics card and this is my other graphics cards option if you have graphics card then always choose your graphics card option because the normal built-in is very slow and then no need to think other things keep them in default and now click ok and after this you will find a big complex workspace complex really but believe me this is not so complex look there are four sections four boxes and they are different from each other in terms of their performances and this is your project window here you can import your videos audios images and other things and i will talk about it in details later in the video now i am just introducing the four boxes so the second box is source file window you can preview your video here before editing and then timeline window the main editing is done in this window so it is very important and the last one is the program window where you can see the output of your project and here you will find a little toolbox i will also talk about all the tools in the later so now come back to the project window i said it before that you can import your files here and there are few ways to import you can double click here and import just like this And then you can drag your files and drop those here. This is another way. And the other way is 
if you right click here you will find the import option here but i will suggest you the fastest option not only the fastest the most organized option organize your video and audio and other files like this in a different folder and then select all these and drag it to the project window now look they are more organized now it's easy to use and easy to find and if you don't follow this you can create new bin from here also by just right clicking on your mouse and you will find a create new bin option and you can organize your files in different folders so it's your choice and then you can change your view also by clicking on this icon and there are some other options also like delete you can delete any video by clicking on this icon and then search any video from this option and there is a great new bin options these are actually pretty easy and another option new item here we will learn everything a step by step now let's jump into the source window we know already that this is our source window if you click twice on your video from here look you will see a preview on the source window it looks like a video player isn't it remember you can cut your video from here also just using this mark in and mark out option like if i don't want all the videos i just need this part only to work so from here i can select mark in option and here mark out option and now simply click and drag it to the timeline panel for further work and this is program window here you can see the output result look one thing when i drag and put it on the timeline both video and audio is coming together but if you want the video only then just go to this little icon this is for video only and this is for audio only it's easy right then click and drag it into the timeline and now let's use another audio from other source so first input your audio in the project window and then drag and release it into the timeline now play you can use a space to play or pause but look the length of the audio is so big you can just simply go to the end and then drag it to the left and make it smaller you can also make it bigger just the same way i'm keeping like this because i want to add some more clips so for now i want to add these clips so just like before i want to cut some part from the source window and one just the video clips so click on this icon and drag it to the timeline and again you can cut your video from your timeline also you can make it a smaller also so it is the way you can add several videos like this but if you want add a clip not on the end when i add on the middle of a clip just like here then what you will do it is very easy look at these two option this is for insert and this is override so if i click on insert it will be inserted in the middle of the video like this 
but it looks very bad because of the audio. I don't want to change the audio. For this, lock the audio. And now, click on the insert option. Now look, it's better, na? Okay, now let's talk about some options of timeline window. Look here, you will find three video tracks and three audio tracks. V1, V2, V3 is for video and A1, A2, A3 for audio. These are actually layers. And then by clicking on this eye icon, you can hide the layers. Just like Photoshop. And I already talked about the locked option. And now I will show you a very important button. This snap button. It should be activated always. Let's see what happened actually when it is not activated. When you add a clip and then you want to start the video just after finished the last one. But look, it's not so easy. But if you activated this, then it's easiest to add another clip, just simple. It can be very painful if this option is not activated. Okay, another simple thing. If you want to delete something from the timeline, then just select and press delete on keyboard. Now I want to share some more simple tricks before ending this tutorial. Look at this option. If you click on this little icon, little arrow, you will find many options. 10% to 400%. It actually controls your preview of the video. If you click on 100%, look, your video is now shown in 100% zoomed. So from here, you can control your preview of the video. And then come into the timeline window. Here in the bottom, you will find a slider. You can control the preview of timeline window through this slider and then through this circle you can zoom in by dragging on the right and zoom out by dragging on the left. This is very useful. You can also zoom in and zoom out by pressing and hold alt and scroll on the mouse just like this. And then you can also increase the preview size of your layers. For this, bring the mouse cursor on the layer and then press and hold Alt and scroll on your mouse. Just like this. You can also control this from here too. And now come into the top. Here you will find a list like editing, color, effects, audio and others. These are actually your workspace. Now we are in by default in editing workspace and there are color workspace, effects workspace and you also find all your workspace from the window and then workspace and look at this your all workspace you can find here. We will know all the details of all workspaces in the later. I think this is enough for day one. We learned a lot actually aren't we? I think now we can talk about all the four boxes at least for 10 minutes and if you can then you are ready to go for the next. Again if I miss something that you need to know then just comment on the comment box. I will try to cover that in the next video and for the next video hit the subscribe button not only the subscribe button but also the bell icon and you can also support me on Patreon to make this channel bigger and inspire me. So till then keep learning keep creating.